quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, put your hand in the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad light, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took a red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said Right, hello everyone. Right, get some people invited to the lobby. Oh, I started up a little bit late to make sure that Trojan can get him. Said he was going to be a couple of minutes late from work. Oh, I've got to work out who's going to be here tonight and who isn't. Jimbo, Luke seems to be on YouTube. Hopefully, he hasn't forgotten about the race. No, right. Badger said he's not coming. Griff. Keefy's already in. Lumber's in. Mason's not. Stevie's already in. Trojan. Right. So, round five of the BSB Championship. Be Cadwell Park this week. Oh, 
hopefully it all goes well. Cadwell Park's a tough track. Well, most people struggle with Cadwell. And Keithy's here this week, so hopefully he will uh, stay in for the whole session. Been waiting to see Keithy do well. Cadwell over anywhere else. Cadwell's a sick track. Do really like Cadwell. Uh, shipping. All right, there we go. See a bit more now. Luke's now on. Uh, just waiting on Trojan. Hopefully, should be on in a minute. I'd like to think. Said he's going to be five minutes late. And while we're right, a real quick frag. So, predictions this week. Not sure. So, at the moment, what's the RM600 standings? So, Luke's winning the RM600 after last week, and Trojan missing the week before. That's the standings. Quite a few people on the list that have only ever turned up once. Hopefully Keithy today might knock a few, well at least one of them off. Definitely got to knock one of them off at least, so. Prediction, you crashing a lot, eh Luke? Hopefully not. You're winning the championship at the moment, well the 600s at least. So... Oh, Trojan's just messaged in the Discord saying he's now jumping on. Good, good. It's good timing because I didn't want to have to wait too, too long for him today. It's hard though because he, he said about doing it at 10 o'clock. But that leaves him not a lot of time to get home from work. Back still killing me. Uh, I don't know if Trojan needs another invite. I'll invite him again. Fucking LB on this controller is broken. Oh yeah, I don't have a clue what way this is going to go today. I have no idea what anybody's pace or anything's like around Cadwell. As we'll find out in the qualifying. We lost somebody. Stevie. Stevie was in here. Do I have Stevie added? Uh, I hate trying to find people on the bloody chat thing on here. So much easier on PC. Oh, Steve.
Steve is not online anymore. So I don't know what's happened to Stevie. The fact they said he was on his home screen meant it's not a power cut or anything. He's left. I don't know what Trojan's doing. I have invited him. Twice. Said he was now getting on four minutes ago. I hate it that people have themselves set offline on Xbox all the time. Never tell if they're on. There we go. Trojan's in. Not sure what's happened to Stevie. I'll proceed to the next bit either way. I don't remember if I got Stevie added. Don't think I have. I'll invite him anyway. He's either drawing or he won't. So how many people we got in today? Seven. Better than last week, I think. He would have been in a party with Lumbernickel and Keefe, so I think because they're readied up means he's probably gone. So, all right, everyone's readied up. Let's get the qualifying going then. Let's make this lot a bit bigger so I can see more on the screen. It's gone medium soft. So is Trojan and Jimbo and Lumber Nickel. Wouldn't have been my tyres of choice, but if it works for them, it works for them. No, it looks like near enough everybody's going medium soft. Keith, he may do the same thing yet. Oh, I'll restart. Keefe's got the bug I had the other, the other week. He can't ready up or anything. Or change his tyres. So, good start. Not his fault. I had the same bug the other week, I couldn't change my tyres or anything. Just showed a lock symbol on everything. I had it once or twice on PC, but 
only been once or twice. Why oh, it takes so long to load this part on Xbox? One thing I don't miss about playing the Xbox much. Mm. All right, race director. Okay. Griff, Keefe, Number. Trojan. I oh, had Luke as a friend on here, but obviously I don't. I don't know why. Oh, all right. Jimbo. Invite Griff, I've invited Keefe, Luke, Lumber, Mason. Come on, join, not invite. Stevie's still not online. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, that's Mason, right? That's seven. That's who we had in it. Try it again. Hopefully, it won't have the locked symbol for anybody. And Lumber's changed bikes this week. I believe he's going for the Kawasaki. Wasn't getting along with the MV Augusta. Just notice Keefe's on the R6 as well. He's meant to be on the MV. Oh well. Don't know why people don't like the MV. I've been loving it in my championship we've been doing on PC. Brakes could be better, but that's about the only downfall to it. Alright, there's Keefe. Yeah, he's changed his tyres now and he's readied up, so... Hopefully... Oh, Griff's had a change of heart on the tyres. So everyone's medium soft apart from Griff. There we go. Let's get the qualifying started up. Do like Cadwell. So, will Lumber do better this week with the Kawasaki? He obviously thinks it will make him do better. He thinks he couldn't fight with Trojan and Luke with the MV Augusta. He's gone down in the same place I went down in my race. In the 1000cc race. Luckily it's lap one, so he hasn't really thrown a lap yet.
So it looks like Griff's doing good here. A few people are heating up their medium front tyres. Looks like Griff will be the first person to go and set a lap. Oh, a bit wide. if he's gone down again. So, Luke is leading the 600s at the moment. He doesn't seem too confident himself in the chat. Prediction is he's going to crash a lot. We will see. Looking all right so far. Strong through the chicane. Well, all three of them. Could be on for the fastest lap, though. Me and Jack had a great battle here on the BSB League on PC. Wonder if it'll be a good battle here today. Oh, I've gone too far. So I don't even know what Luke's lap time was. It's definitely the fastest out of the top of front three, though. We started that lap behind them two. Griff's gone wide. Griff's gone down. It's this lap gone for him. What's Mason doing? How's he going? Having a better time than Keefe, surprisingly. Not sure how Keefe's that far back, to be honest. And if he's had a few crashes or he just stopped to let him, him give himself a gap. Jimbo's gone down as well. Mason's gone down over the mountain. Luke's on an improving lap time though. 24.8. 27 from Lumber Nickel. Griff and Jimbo both went down. 27.4 from Trojan. Keefe could be on a decent one. 25.4. What second off Luke, roughly? Second fastest lap time that I've actually seen. Griff and Jimbo are still battling. It'd be good to get the slipstream, but oh, they're just going to get caught in each other's slipstream in the braking zones and it's going to ruin each other's laps. I think they just give each other a bit of a space. Oh, Trojan's backing it in. Too much. Lumber's caught up to Luke on this lap, so this could be a good lap from Lumber. Maybe not. Six from Griff, thirty two from Lumber Nickel. Twenty eight from Mason. The 
Polizei. Oh, that hitch is readable. Yep. Right, so. Luke 24s. And Keithy's in the 25s. Giving himself that gap may have worked for him. Everyone else, 26s. For, the, for these three. Close between Lumber and Griff as well. Pretty close between all of them, actually. Right. So. Surprised Trojan wasn't faster than he was. Maybe he doesn't ever play Cadwell. I think Luke was two seconds off what me and Jack set. I hate this track, dear Trojan. It's fucking it's a brilliant track. <laughs> well, it's one of the best tracks. Yeah, exactly, Luke. <laughs> Cadwell's awesome. Don't think a lot of people like it, but... Not really sure why. It's a hard one to actually have a race at. But, like, messing around in time trial and stuff like that. It's a brilliant track. Alright, so... Second and third was slow, felt like I was on 300. Yeah, I think you've done something wrong to the gears then, man. <laughs> I have that problem all the time, to be fair, with the MV Augusta. It, lack, it lacks so much in the acceleration. You have to fully pin it just to get it to go anywhere. Cadwell and Alton Goat. Well, luckily, Alton's next week. So that'd be two of your favourites in, in the space of a week. I haven't, I haven't set the positions yet, have I? Well, Luke, in first. Keefe. My LB button's not working properly. That's handy. So, Lumber Nickel next. And then Griff, so we're already in the right spots. Jimbo. Trojan and Mason. So everyone's already pretty much in the right spots, which is handy. Trojan starting down in sixth. That's not going to be a good spot to start him. Right, 12 laps of Cadwell Park. Here we go. Who put the governor on my bike? Put the governor on my bike before the race. Governor? I have no idea what you're talking about, Trojan. Put the governor on your bike. Hold on your home track, Luke. Yes, Jax as well, I believe. Or closest to him. Out of the lot. So I expected Jack to smash me there. I think I got quite lucky, though. On my race. Cadwell's probably my second closest track. It's probably Snetterton, then Cadwell. So, Lumber's going to go for the soft rear. Apparently. That could be a... He's gone for the soft rear. Trojan messed up, I believe. It's, do you mean you didn't change your tyres? <laughs> and luckily, 
That is the way it's stuck now. <laughs> I have to try not to overheat it. So, I've just gone for the soft rear. Interesting choice. So, loop on pole. Can he do what he did in qualifying? And smash it. I've gone too far. Keefe got the start, though. Luke's finding himself at the minute in all the wrong spots. Look at the start Keefe he got though, he's well away. Luke's backing it in, sliding. Keefe hasn't been here this whole time pretty much. He's smashing it. On a bit wide though. Griff went through the chicane pretty quick. He caught up to Luke pretty fast there. Rear adopter race that shout that that camera angle as they come through that part looks good. So everyone's pretty close at the moment. Just Keefe's managed to pull that gap. Trojan is not enjoying life <coughs> on the uh, triumph for this track. Must have had an off in the first lap. I missed it. So after this round, it'll be the showdown round, or the beginning of. There'll be more points at stake in the next few rounds. Everyone's getting red, so they must be flipping the grass coming through the chicane. Oh, Mason's got a wobble and a half there. Thought he might accidentally get in the way of Trojan, but we're all good. No, Lumber Nickel. I think he was probably doing better on the MB Augusta, but it might just be this track. If he's got 1.6, 1.7 seconds lead now. There's no, I haven't seen any crashes yet, but other than Mason, I think Trojan did, but we missed it. Mason's still sort of on the back of Trojan as well. So Trojan is, oh, Keefe, missed it. He stayed on, I think, but he's gone massively off track. All that work to do again now. Still 12 laps as you can pull it back. Not sure what happened, he must have just outbroke himself.
Mason's gone down in turn one. One point two's the gap. Everyone's not not exactly oh Luke's had a moment there. Nearly lost the front. Oh, this starting to look like there could be a battle going on at the front in a minute. I say it's not close enough for a battle with anybody yet, but not like stupidly spread out but they're not stupidly close either Jimbo's off track so from the experience we had last week there's only really two proper overtaking spots and anything else other than that or maybe three Oh, Luke's lost the rear. That's unlucky. I crashed in that same spot from tucking the front in the uh, RM Thousands race. Oh, big wheelie from Keefe there. You lose so much speed from doing that. Oh, he's gone down as well. Griff has been gifted the first spot. Got a fair gap behind him as well. He just needs to stay on. I think Griff likes the road track, so... I think staying on at Cadwell shouldn't be too much of a big deal for him. It's quite tough to catch up when you've got a few people in front of you at this track number nickel 20 seconds dead on through sector 1 see if you got close there oh and again looks like Sparky's Oh, I don't know. I think Luke was catching up to Jimbo, but I think he's made a mistake. If that would Jimbo possibly messed him up? I'm not sure, because it looked like Jimbo waited for him. Four, I'm in a train now. Not entirely sure what happened between Luke and uh, Jimbo. Oh, I thought Lumber Nickel was out on the grass then. It's still on though. Trojan's definitely out of uh, contention of this one. Mason's dry, doesn't know whether it wants to be blue or yellow. And Luke is catching up to Griff as well now. Actually a pretty close race to be honest. 
Trojan's gone down again. He needs to practice this track. This Trojan's normally pretty quick at most tracks. Oh, I thought Griff was off then. He saved it. Luke's. Yeah, I think Luke come off. No, people struggling with Cadwell at the moment. If he's back up into second, will he catch up to Griff? got the, uh, the glitch of the yellow dot on the hit. Thought he'd come off or something then. I think Luke's had another Luke had another fall off. Not what he needed. if he's getting close to Griff now though. Keefe has sort of technically been in before but he's normally quit the races on the ones he could make fortunately. Could he take a win here today though? Keefe's just got that bit more than Griff's got. Right on the tail of Griff now. Oh, just clipped the inside of that apex. So you had to sit it up straight over it to make sure he didn't slide off. See if you got a police helmet on. And a suit, I only just realised. Right. Can't let him get away now, but it looks like Keefe is getting away. Yeah, he's pulled the gap in the space of a few corners. Oh, Griff's in hot. Lumber nickels had a fall off. We missed that. Trojan's really not loving life at this track. Surprising. Really thought Trojan would do good here today, I'm not going to lie. 
Well, I can't say I've ever seen him play on this track either, so... seconds you've got no chance of catching Jimbo or Griff without a mistake from one of the two Luke's uh, lumber nickels another four seconds behind Luke Trojan 15 seconds behind If he's out on the grass. He may have got a penalty from that, I'm not sure. I think he already had a penalty from earlier on, so I can't tell how big people's penalties are. Point five there. Let's see what it is across the line. No, it doesn't tell you. Could have been his fastest lap of the race, I don't know. Keith is fastest on track so far. Chosen's nowhere near finish line yet. So everyone's definitely spread out now. They weren't before. I think the microphone can hear the surround sound in the other room. That's how I'm hearing to hear the game. So turn it down a bit. So, Keefe has won the race. First race back, he smashed it. Griff in second, Jimbo in third, and Luke was right about his crashing. So we've got Lumble Nickel in fifth. Trojan should finish the race. I don't think Mason will. Mason definitely won't finish. Trojan just very far off the pace on this one. Get a screenshot of that so for when I work out the... Uh, Results and all that stuff. No, oh, Keefe won the race. GG. No, Keefe had the potential to win some of the races, but it just hasn't been here. An unfortunate race for Luke as well. So. That's pretty close for the first few laps. Everyone's pretty close. It's only problem with Cadwell, you don't really see many moves. I think Jimbo's gone off to uh, change his levers. keep going to do that every time I go to change things with the mouse and I can't do it with the mouse on the PC because I'm on the Xbox does your result count yeah your result counts Mason just because you didn't finish as long as you're not sitting like on the grass doing nothing I, 
I'll still count it. But if you sit on the grass and like a few laps behind, then I won't be counting it anymore. But yeah, just because you didn't actually like technically finish, I'll I'll count it. You enjoyed that one, did you, Griff? Yeah, I, I love Cadwell. It's such a sick track. RM thousands. Uh, I'll get Mason back in here. Hated that it was made you sick to your stomach. Can I just see Polar joined and leave? Should I just see someone left? It might have been Lumber Nickel actually, I'm not sure. I ain't too sure. Made you sick to your stomach. Well, you got another race of it yet. Not sure what lumber nickel's doing. Don't know if he had an issue and if he's starting his game or if he's just left. I think it's probably more you just don't do the track, to be honest, Trojan. I think all the bikes are stiff around there. It's just one of them tracks. So, how many we got? Five, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, we're just missing lumber for today. Not entirely sure what he's doing. Yeah, he must be restarting up. Must have had an issue of some description. Yeah, nice call, cool. uh, Keithy. Wasn't entirely sure what he was doing at first. Uh, he ride with simplified physics. Oh yeah, that, that won't help them, Mason. We got it locked to uh, realistic. Can't say I've even tried really uh, simplified physics. Don't know how much difference it actually makes. So, if he won that one, can he win the thousand CC as well? Did see a few mistakes from a few of them. So I don't know how this one will go. A little lighter on the throttle. It could help. I don't like I say I don't know what difference being on simplified actually makes. So Right, so, four laps, RM thousands, collisions are off, tyre wears off. So, we're good to go for qualifying, get everyone to choose their bikes and all that stuff.
their attraction. Uh, maybe. I tried, um, I, I joined a mate one day and he, he had the physics for some reason locked to advanced. I did one race with him and I, I could tell it was slowing me down. Like every lap was like a second slower than what I could normally do. I had to tell him to put it to three. I could not play with it on advanced. But it did slow me down. That was the only real difference I could feel, is that it slowed me down. All right, everyone's got their bikes and all that good stuff ready. Oh yeah, I was meant to go turn the surround sound down a bit, wouldn't I? I'll go do that in a sec. No, uh, Luke, again, gone for the medium soft. I would not be able to get that tyre combination to work for me around here. Keefe's gone hard medium, that's a bit more like it. Everyone's choosing their tyres and stuff. Just hand this around, sit down a bit. Hold my back still, folks. Right. Uh, just waiting on Lumber to choose his tyres. So everyone's. I don't know. I thought everyone had gone for half medium apart from Luke there, but. Jimbo's on medium, medium. Mason's gone for the medium soft. I have a hard time keeping that tyre cool. On the Panigale. Lumber's gone medium, medium as well. I actually find my tyres get even hotter on Xbox than they do on PC as well, so... And I get them hot with double hards. Especially at like this time of day, 2 o'clock, whatever it's, it's set to. Everyone it's turned to all at once. Everyone wants to be setting the pace. If you on BMW. So Keefe's not gone on either of the bikes he's meant to be on so far. He's supposed to have been on the uh, the Yamaha for this class. Thought there was about to be a crash, I forgot collisions was off for a sec there. No, I don't think Drosian's going to enjoy himself on this one. He didn't enjoy it with the 600. And luckily Jimbo last week's game crashed as we started. I didn't really find out until Lap two. I didn't really want to restart at that point. That was unfortunate for him. Keefe's down in the back again now. Quite far behind. But he's normally pretty good on the thousands, so he could do well here. He didn't do too bad in the 600s.
Oh, he's gone down over the mountain. So that's that lap gone for Jimbo. Twenty four zero for Griff. It's not bad. Oh, Mason's gone down in the last corner. He's got on the throttle too early. Griff's gone down as well. Oh, Luke's ruined this lap. It's got that weird bug. There we go, that's got rid of it. It's definitely a corner cut, but that should give him a penalty by the end of this anyway. It's definitely going to be a lot less than that because of that penalty. Twenty-three three from uh, Keefe. Lumber's had a fall off. It's gone in ghost mode. Oh, I think Keefe's oh, chosen's gone ghost mode as well. It's Luke on an improving lap. He is. So we saw a 23 3, I think, from Keefe. 23 8. Twenty fours from Griff and uh, Jimbo. Twenty five from Mason, so he's not far off everyone else's pace. So Similar sort of qualifying results as the first race, first qualifying. Keefe on pole again. I think, was it? Yeah, I'm sure it was Keefe on pole last time. It might have been second. I've already forgotten. So. Are they going to have. I don't think Trojan's enjoying this one.
So 17 laps, Torres on, collisions are on. Alright. That bloody LB button. So we've got Keefe, Luke, and Griff's on the third spot. It's Jimbo. Who we got next? Who's the slowest? Lumber. He's already in the right spot then. Trojan 26. Mason. Jimbo then Mason. So Mason's actually... Could be the best qualifier we've seen from Mason. Griff's got to use the toilet. Yep. Yeah. Go on and Griff, you good man. Yeah, banging quali. It is a banging quali for you, Mason. Do well, mate. Get back here now, Griff. Could, could. Oh, my back is killing me. I always started last. Well, you won't be starting last for this race. Uh, everyone's readied up. Everyone's got their bikes. Get ready for a 17 lap race of Cadwell. One thing I'm not sure about is this week... For us on PC, we're doing Donington, the short version. I'm wondering how many laps it's going to be. Because it's only like a minute a lap. Something I need to find out before Monday. So Luke and Griff on double hards. Jimbo's double hards. I'd definitely say double hards is the way to go, but he could make the medium work. All a bit of a personal preference, I suppose, and how hard you, how hot you get the tyres. Mason's gone medium. Keefe had a change of heart. He's changed to a hard rear. Lumber now. Is he going to stick with the medium rear? He has. Right. Let's go racing. So he's got the polite fake police suit on. Uh, who hates? No one likes the police. So Mason got the dream start. Got good qualifier, good qualifying. Get me words out. Good qualification. Panagali always gets the dream starts. Luke, guys, bend it. Mason's great qualifying has just been thrown away by Luke, unfortunately. But Luke's messed himself up as well. Oh. Jimbo getting close there. Keefe's just sitting back, waiting for the move. Best thing to do, really, at that point where Keefe is, is just to sit back. If Griff starts to pull away, then he then he needs to get past. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck between the front two, and they're quite close. Not where you want to be on a track like this. 
If someone dives up the inside of you. No, he's going to go for it. Oh, he's come off. Someone's got past him safely. I think Mason fell off again just after getting back on the bike, so it's real unfortunate for Mason. Take that inside curve on the exit of that gooseneck for uh, taking me out in the league race. Is that lumber nickel's gone down? Oh, it's getting tight between these three now. Unfortunately, Trojan just hasn't got the pace he normally has around here, so he's going to be just kind of getting in the way. Oh, Luke's got a wobble. That is unfortunate for Luke. Crash into turn four. It's just crashed again. Griff's gone down. Didn't even notice Griff had gone down. Was too engrossed with the battle that was going on with the front, with the, well, not the front three, but. I think Keithy's gone down or made a big mistake as well. Lumber was behind him. It's not really over for anyone yet, though. I think a lot of people are going to be making mistakes at this track. Keithy's gone down. I think he went down on his own. I only see the one yellow marker. Mason's getting a bit of a wobble on. You can tell Mason's uh, liking this track, I think. I think it's the best I've seen Mason doing, to be fair. Uh, Jimbo's got a four and a half second lead. Griff is catching back up to Trojan, I believe, so Luke's not having the race he wanted. He had the pace to be up the front. Close now, Griff and Drosium. Jimbo's getting away with it here. Making up for the race he uh, lagged out of last week. Or game crashed or or whatever. Yeah. Something along them lines. 
believe Jimbo was leading the thousands up until that point. What it looked like with me and Jack last week, this close, all race. Maybe not in the thousands, but... Oh, Trojan's out on the grass a bit there. Made it work, but... Oh, may I spoke too soon. Out on the grass again, he's out on the grass everywhere. Mason's gone down in turn. Turn out of our last turn. I don't even know what turn it is on this track. Oh, Trojan's going in hot. Griff is. I think he's slightly caught up to Jimbo a bit. I'm sure the gap was 5.9 a minute ago. Still, it's a long way to go. Looks like Keithy's closing. Not that close yet, though. And Trojan's not doing too bad. Not as bad as he probably thought he would. He's sticking to the back of Griff. Using them as a guide. Keefe's gone down again. What a killer. Just realised he's down in sixth. He's either gone down or made a mistake. So the two fastest people on this track are now fighting for fifth place. Not having the best of luck. Oh, just tapped his rear. Luckily, they're both still on. like Trojan's either come off or made a mistake. There's a big gap between him and Griff now. Oh, he's going to get caught in the slipstream here. And luckily, Lumber's still on. Wouldn't have felt nice from where Lumber was though. Oh, he's in deep. Keefe does not want to let Luke go. Oh, Keefe's. Uh, Luke's completely messed up the chicane. given the position so and he's going to have a hefty penalty from it as well so fortunate for him on that one
Jimbo still leading the race by a fair bit. So he's Jimbo's doing well. Oh, Luke's gone down. Mason's gone down somewhere. Turn one, oh, last turn again. I keep saying turn one, it's not turn one. Mason's really not getting on with that last turn. Oh, that, that is turn one though. Lucky to stay on there, to be honest. We didn't get a penalty for that either. Surprisingly. Oh, Griff's gone down. Bottom of the mountain. Horrible place to have to respawn as well, because as soon as you try to get on the throttle, it just lifts the front wheel up. I had that in practice for this track. Oh, he's got the pace to catch up to Trojan again, I believe. What's happened to Keefy? Every time I look away, Keefy's managed to get behind Lumber again somehow. Must have made a little mistake somewhere, because... He wasn't stupidly far ahead of him. Not enough of a mistake that he's like actually fell off. That last turn again for Mason. I can't remember what the options are that, that X gives you. Actually can't see the bottom part past that banner at the bottom. I believe Mason may get caught up at some point. He may not, he's not I suppose he's not that close to him. Yeah. Jimbo's loving it. Corrosion must have gone down as well. I'm missing so much here. It's so hard to see what's going on on this little bit of the screen. Yeah, Mason is definitely going to get caught up now. Not like right this second, but it is going to happen. Mason is not happy. Trojans down into the mountain. Been a lot of crashes there, to be fair. More than I expected to see. Now, Keith, he's got a big lead on Lumber now. I don't know if Lumber, Lumber must have had a fall off. Now, it is pretty spread out between everybody now, for sure. just running his own race hasn't really got to put in any stupid lap times he can just chill make sure he stays on the bike and he is on an improving lap though he can afford to push at this point even if he falls off he can then just play it safe
probably push into lap mason. I know what it's like when you're riding and you see people in back of you, you really want to just lap them. For the sake of lapping them. So Mason pulled over. Good sportsmanship from Mason. Erosion must have never fall off. He's behind loop now. It's going to get tight into this corner. Trojan's backed out of it. Loop on deep though. Lumbers. I don't know. It kind of looked like he kind of just let them through. I could be wrong. It did look like he just kind of let them through. Keith, he could still catch up to Griff here. We'll have to see how that one plays out. Luke not having the race he wanted, neither is Keefe. They were clearly the faster people in qualifying. So Mason's let everyone pass now. Good to see. He's come up again, I think. Oh, he's left. Unfortunate for Mason. He had a great qualifying for him as well. Gap now between Griff and Keefe. It's a second, not even a second. They both have a penalty as well, so. Oh, Griff's gone down. Oh, I thought Keefe was going to hit his bike. Oh, Keefe definitely got some more penalty from that. You definitely get penalty for cutting them corners. Even if it's minute. No, oh, nobody's near anybody now. As the race has gone on, it's just all spread out. Could still see some more accidents yet though, which could bring people close back together. Bit of a jump from Jimbo. On a faster lap as well. He got a penalty in there, he hasn't. 23 3. He's on about the same sort of pace as what we were setting with the uh, 600s. I expect, I, was, I actually thought some people, I know some of these boys are pretty quick. But I actually expected them to be faster. Wasn't expecting them to be as fast, but a bit faster than what they've been going. It's one of them Cadwell though. 
Some people really like it, some people really don't. Beefy's had another 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 off. The amount of times I've looked back and Keithy's somehow got behind the person that was following him. Oh. It's probably pretty lucky to stay on there. Definitely had an off six seconds behind. Best lap time. Probably came off in turn one to lose that much time. So, Jimbo is on his last lap now. Do have a bit of a battle going on here though. Don't know how big Griff's penalty is, but I've seen some of the corner cuts from Keefe, and I reckon they'll be not a small penalty. If old Griff, I'd just try and stick to the back of Keefe and be as close to him as possible across the line. So he won't know that Keefe's cut the corners. Oh, he's easy. Uh, well, Jimbo is about across the line, though. Don't think Jimbo's even fell off once. Do we see a wheelie? We do. We get a wheelie from Jimbo. Come on up. Faultless race, pretty much. I don't think he fell off even once. Didn't even have a penalty. No, uh, Keefe's in second for now, but penalties are going to play a lot. Uh, play a part. Griff's in third. Looks up into fourth. Erosion's not going to finish, and neither's Lumber Nickel. If he did get into the 22s, he did finish ahead of Griff as well. I wasn't sure that he was going to, because of the penalties, but Griff obviously had some big corner cuts himself somewhere. Oh, GG to Jimbo. I say he had a faultless race pretty much. Didn't see a single mistake from him. Keefe and Luke probably aren't too happy with their fall offs because they definitely. Well, Keefe definitely had the pace to run at the front. But Luke did, but. That Griff, you had a 0.05 penalty. Uh, so maybe Keefe's penalty wasn't as big as I thought. There was a few bits I see him not cut like purposely, but a few bits that I've seen, I know you can get biggish penalties on. Uh, his penalty wasn't as big as I thought it would be. I only <coughs> I fucking broke. He only had a point two. Yeah, see, cut. I don't even know what the corner is. Just after the mountain, got the little left, right, and all that. See, you go across the grass there, and I know that gives a penalty. But yeah, GG boys. Yeah, I'm sure Keefe would have wanted the win on that one as well. Gone unlucky with the fall offs. 
Easy to do at this track though. Oh, uh, Jimbo. Well, hold on. Where's Jimbo in the standings now? Let's have a look. I haven't got the updated from the race, but I've got last week's. So, after last week's races, that's how it would look. Trojan's in first, but he won't be now, I don't think. So he still could be, actually. He might still be in first on the thousands. I'll have to work all that stuff out later on. Bloody with my screen being so small, can't get to the right parts. But yeah, it was a good race, boys. You can relax Cadwell's out of the way now. So, right. Was round five Cadwell Park. The next week, it will be the start of the showdown round, so there'll be extra points for the first few places in that. Well, for everyone, I believe. Yeah, be f extra points for everyone essentially. Yeah, hopefully every, everyone enjoyed that. I know Trojan didn't. <laughs> and I'll uh, see you all next week at uh, Alton Park. Alton Park next week. So, see you all later. Ciao for now.